Welcome back to My Budget Kitchen, where I am helping you save time, money, and sanity answering the question, what's for dinner, mom? <laughs> that sounded super cheesy, but we're going to go with it because I don't feel like recording it. So today we are talking about four steps, four easy, simple steps to making a meal plan on a budget. This should be a short and sweet video because this video is going to be outlining these steps and then I'm going to get, I'm going to, I am going to elaborate on a couple of points in this video in future videos. So this one is going to give you an overview of how I do this and how you can do this. And then I'll go more in depth on these in later videos, if need be. I might ramble it up in this video, we'll find out. So step one, I know I'm going to make an entire video about, it is inventorying your kitchen. And you may have heard of this before, but basically to inventory your kitchen, you go into your refrigerator, mine's over there, that's why I'm gesturing, <laughs> your refrigerator, your pantry, your freezer. I have a deep freeze, that's why I wasn't including it over there. Uh, <laughs> fridge, pantry, and freezer. You go into all of those things and you inventory what you have in them. Next video, I'm going to go over how to do a really detailed inventory to save the most money and to get dinner ideas from that kitchen inventory. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it simple and say, inventory your kitchen, make note of what you already have, plan your first dinners on your meal plan based on those things. So if you have meats, different proteins, different vegetables, different sauces, flavoring things, make sure those go into your meal plan first. And then if you need more dinner ideas, add ones that you don't have anything already in your kitchen for afterwards. And that's the best way to save money. So step one of a budget meal plan is inventorying your kitchen. Step two throws back to my video about why meal plans fail. And that is that you don't check your calendar when making your meal plan. So you don't start by deciding on meals and then decide what you're gonna cook at night. Even if you do that night of, if you do it ahead of time, doesn't matter. You're not gonna do that then. You're not gonna choose the dinners first and then look at what your evenings look like. You're gonna inventory your kitchen, then you're gonna take a look at your calendar for this week and the following week if you do two week meal planning like I do. So if you have a late evening, if you have an activity one evening, or maybe you're going somewhere on the weekend or in an, uh, on a week, why can't I say weeknight? <laughs> if you're going somewhere on the weekend or on a weeknight and don't need to plan a dinner, you don't plan a dinner. And you might've forgotten that and put in work that you didn't need to do, right? So perhaps you have a really busy night like I started to say and interrupted myself and you need to plan a really easy meal knowing that ahead of time will make sure you put that really easy meal onto your meal plan. This is another way to budget meal plan because it saves you money either not cooking the things you bought ingredients for because you just throw in the towel and eat cereal or you go to the drive-thru, things like that. So you save money by eating, cooking and eating the things you buy and the things you pay for. So inventory your kitchen, take a look at your calendar, then you choose your meals. So then you meal plan. Going back again to a previous video, take a look at my go-to dinners list video. Uh, the thumbnail says instant, no it doesn't, it says endless dinner ideas. The thumbnail says endless dinner ideas. And that is truly the best way to easily come up with ideas for dinner is by creating that go-to meal list. And again, that is a video where I'm going in depth on how to do that. So one, two, three, inventory. Look at your calendar and you're going to choose your meals, but don't forget breakfast, lunch, and snacks and dessert potentially. So make sure you also make a note on your meal plan brain dump list, however you do it, of anything you might need like coffee, very important things, snacks for the kids, things they take in their lunch, things you eat for lunch, um, anything maybe if you, even if you take leftovers, you might need to supplement them. Make sure you add those things in. Ah, my phone's about to die. And then you transfer to your grocery list. I like to have a page with my meal plan on it where I have the meal and the side dishes listed on it and the ingredients. And I can easily reference that if I need to thaw something or prep something ahead of time. I talk about mini meal prep in a couple of things in a couple of videos also. I do that there. And then I create a grocery list that I might lose, I might misplace, but I also scratch it off and it gets really messy. Um, so I do that on a separate sheet of paper. 
So I'm going to rush myself here because my phone is about to die. But like I said, this is a short, sweet video with just a little overview of each of these steps for budget meal planning. And perhaps you learned something you hadn't thought of before, uh, a different way of doing it, and this video is helpful. But I'm gonna wrap it up and tell you, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications to hear the more in-depth um, tips and tricks tips and tricks for saving money and easily coming up with dinner ideas that are going to be in my future videos. Phone is at 3%. I did it.